Because of you to ask question about Afghanistan that every day Afghan people <laughs> killing. Very tough situation. Any comment? We are going to do our level best to protect the Afghan people. You have 41 nations working. Uh, the largest wartime coalition in modern history. Stop and think about it. I know it's been going on a long time. The largest coalition in modern history to fight a war under NATO, 41 nations, and their devotion is to ending the war and to protecting the Afghan people. It would be nice if the Taliban would get aligned with the reconciliation effort and stop murdering their own people. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep at it. Thank you so much. Yeah, Are we'll you optimistic about peace process in Afghanistan? Zal Khalil Zat, you know. It is, uh, it is picking up momentum. We have to see if everyone stays sincerely alike. Secretary, on the border, do you expect the troops' uh, deployment to be extended? beyond December 15th? Uh, we'll react to uh, the Department of Homeland Security if they ask for it. <clears throat> right now, we're, we're working with them on the staffs. Uh, it comes down to logistics issues right now, primarily. How many miles of wire do they need? Uh, how much have they defined? The POEs, the ports of entry, are pretty much, I think, done. There's a little um, on the flanks of a couple of them we're still working on. So we'll have to see if, they, uh, if the request uh, extends further. You haven't received one yet. Uh, they're working on it right now, and I know I have not received it yet. Yeah. But they're working on a request. Do you think this has to do with the surge at the Tijuana checkpoint, the thousands of migrants that are there, the images we saw this weekend with the troops be involved in uh, keeping those migrants from crossing into the U.S.? Uh, the Border Patrol uh, is who you saw, and that's who will continue to be responsible Mr. for Secretary, the border. Yes, Mr. Just the other day, you <laughs> said that there still needed to be work done on accountability of what you called the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. Right. Now, today, the administration's position is the crown prince. There is no direct link, no direct connection from him to the murder. What has changed? What now? Why now that position? Do you now believe it's a closed issue that he is not involved? And what makes the administration believe that? I don't think there's any change at all, if I, if I heard your question correctly, Barbara. We have no smoking gun that the Crown Prince was involved, not the intelligence community or anyone else. There is no smoking gun. We have not changed that accountability for the murder is our expectation of everyone involved in the murder. Accountability uh, is our position, has not changed at all. And by the way, I have read all the intel, I have personally read all the intelligence. I have read all the translations. Sir, is it correct the CIA does not come to a conclusion on these matters, but expressed high confidence? Uh, there, there you need to go to the CIA. And have you listened to the tape? <clears throat> no, I cannot uh, understand that uh, language, but I have spent more than enough time in service of our country. <clears throat> I know what grim circumstances can be. I needed to see what was said, and I read the translations of what is alleged to be the tape. We do not have the tapes. We do not have the tapes. At least I'm not aware that we do. Uh, but uh, I have read the translation twice the day they were given to me. Um, and, excuse me. And I have also read them again about 10 days, two weeks ago, 10 days ago, and I reviewed once again all the intel we had. And uh, I will just tell you, there is no smoke, there is no smoking gun. 
but our position has not changed. We expect accountability no for all. No smoking gun the, connecting the crown prince to the murder. That, that is correct. Sir, how would you assess, how would you assess this morning's uh, discussion with the senators? Uh, very uh, uh, penetrating from both sides. We explained what we were doing. They explained their questions and uh, the various points of view uh, on on the murder and on what we are doing in Yemen. Okay. So, so it was explored at, at length uh, for a little over an hour. Uh, it was a I would characterize a very good uh, and even uh, in terms of addressing all the various points uh, pretty exhaustively. You, Thank you. Can you elaborate on what Gina Haspel are you was excluded from? You're going to um, get the support from the Senate that you need to continue, or are you worried that it's going to go the other way? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I don't forecast things like that. Either. So I, I don't know. Mr. Sir, can you, can you clarify down? what you just told Dries about the border? That there is a there is a request currently underway to extend the troops or no. what did you mean by that no we are we are discuss we meet daily uh with department of homeland security and specifically the commissioner of border patrol and his people daily and every day we're crossing off what we're doing uh we're in some cases canceling certain things that we thought we needed before and they don't now they determine they didn't and other things come up so we're working it you know, just it's a normal, uh, normal execution of tasks. Mr. 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 talked about the discussions on Yemen this morning. A lot of senators came out and said that they were switching their votes. I was just curious <laughs> what happened in there, why you think that there was a change of position from so many senators. Yeah, I, I actually, I just got back from over there, and I haven't seen the news, and I, I haven't talked. I talked to a couple as I was walking out, uh, but I, I prefer because their vote is a at least a private matter until they do it to let their vote speak for their position. You talked about it being an exhaustive discussion and yeah. thorough. Was it contentious at all? Did you get a sense no. that there was a frustration about the U.S. position, military position um, on Yemen? Some, some expressed some frustration, uh, but it was not a, uh, I would just say it was a, in many cases, heartfelt. It was also uh, data-driven. Uh, you know, what did we know? What did we not know? On it, Yemen it was, or on, 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 uh, on Yemen? On both. On both, on okay. both issues. Excuse mm -hmm. me. Yeah, thank you. Mr. Sir, Sir, I'm follow up on the border, brain. please. Yeah. Uh, last week, you authorized, or the president authorized, the use of force mm -hmm. by the military. What kind of aggression we would have to see to see the military using force? Yes. I mean, a rock? Yeah, it, it keeps coming up. Uh, our principal jobs there right now are the logistics jobs, you know, putting in the barriers. You saw us have the Border Patrol had to close the border. We, the United States, had to close the border at one point. And there you saw the preparations were ready, that sort of thing. As far as the use of force, uh, the Border Patrol is using what they believe is appropriate. We would be backing them up. They have multiple lines in front of us. So right now I can't even uh, forecast when it would be necessary after seeing the Border Patrol's response under the pressure that we saw this last weekend. So this is a period with Ukraine and the Grey War that's going on there. The, it escalated with the uh, capture of those uh, ships. What do you say uh, to those folks? And what, what's the way forward for the United States and NATO and Europe, really? Yeah. Well, the uh, Secretary General has spoken on it. Our Secretary of State, representing foreign policy, has spoken on it. Uh, it was... Uh, obviously a flagrant violation of international law. It was, I think, a cavalier use of force that injured uh, Ukrainian sailors. It was uh, contempt, uh, really, for the traditional ways of settling these kinds of concerns, if they had any. Uh, and when you think that there is a treaty between the two countries that permits exactly what happened, it just shows uh, that Russia cannot be counted on right now to keep its word. Do you think it's worth Sir, putting some kind of military... Right. Oh, we've gotta, we've sir, do you think go it's here. worth some kind of yeah. Yeah. military yeah. show of force? No, no, no not really. Did you need this jacket, sir? <laughs> <laughs> you need you know, my I'm jacket? Looking at it. I think it's just fit you pretty well. You look pretty good on you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's really fun. Honor, go! Go! Yeah. One, two, three, go! 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 Go!